Hey guys, it's Jay, Jay Loves Film, and today I want to talk about Brandy Helville and the cult of fast fashion. It came out a couple days ago on Max and I decided to check it out. This might be a bit different to my other videos considering this film is a documentary, so expect a bit more commentary on the fashion brand. To start, if you're unfamiliar, Brandy Melville is an Italian clothing brand that is catered towards young women. It became popular in America during the 2010s after stores opened in Los Angeles. It was originally known for its California teen fashion aesthetic. The documentary focuses on the origins and the creator of the brand and how the brand gears towards a specific image. As a result, there was a growth in people liking the branding and exclusivity from the clothing brand, especially with their choice of producing one size clothing or limited size clothing. They also gave insight to the questionable environment employees had to deal with while being employed at the company, which results in lawsuits related to the discriminatory behavior from higher-ups. They also touched on the aspects of fast fashion, which I thought was intriguing, about the clothing being from Italy and how that assists in disguising fast fashion productions compared to other countries that are more known for producing fast fashion. They also discussed how clothing designs would sometimes be made to copy other brands' clothing that they would see employees wearing, to the point another clothing brand sued branding for stealing the design. Past these points, the rest of the discussion of fast fashion, I believe, don't directly relate to Brandy Melville. For example, compared to Shein and other large brands that will have hundreds of new items available each day, since a common reason people choose to purchase fast fashion is mainly because it is affordable and trendy but also because it's more accessible due to the availability, the very sizing, and price. I don't believe Brandy Melville adds as many new items as fast. They would also most likely have a smaller stock, given that they only care to produce one size per each item. I question how much Brandy Melville has the same impact on the fast fashion industry compared to other brands. They also didn't touch on reselling of Brandy Melville, in which people will sell an increased price for uncommon items found from the store. I wish they kept their focus on why Brandy Melville has the popularity it does, which is branding and exclusivity. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure people purchase clothing from there due to purely liking the clothing or certain basic items. And there's nothing wrong with that. I want to be clear that I don't think there's anything wrong if people like or want to shop there. However, the widespread appeal it received was due to wanting the trendiness from the brand and the feeling and sense of image that was associated with it. Simply put, if you were a part of their ideal demographic and fit the aesthetic, it fulfilled the desire of people wanting to belong. What I do find a bit odd is that when researching for this video is that people who love the brand didn't like or really care for people criticizing and advocating for the brand to make more sizes and instead would attempt to focus on the argument that the brand is just geared towards thinner petite people. But now that certain items aren't fitting them, mysteriously, now they want there to be more sizes. It's almost as if for some people, they like the exclusivity until it doesn't benefit them anymore. A common defense of their sizing is that they just make clothes for people that are petite, the same way that there are plus size clothing brands. This would make sense if they actually had a range of clothing sizes. They are one size, not just small, which means they make each clothing item in only one size, which is typically an extra small, small, medium, and oversized fit. If you take three items, for example, a small top, medium bottoms, and an oversized sweater, three girls at normal weights, but one wears a small, the other an extra small, and the other a medium, may only be able to fit one or two clothing items properly. They literally couldn't make a complete outfit without one of the items being too big or too small, unless they are interested in an ill-fitting outfit. Not to mention, petite focuses on height, which Brandy does not cater towards shorter heights. The problem isn't having only small sizes, or one type of size, or not even vanity sizing. Instead, the problem is just having only one size. They have unclear marketing with even more inconsistent sizing as you can get the same skirt twice but in a different color and one will fit over the other because they either decided to increase or decrease the measurement. I think instead the documentary should have also focused this a bit more. Perhaps they wanted to avoid being too similar to other documentaries that have come out about other brands, but I don't think attaching the fast fashion angle was the most effective 
as I think it will apply better to other brands. I don't think it's an issue to have clothing brands that only gear towards a specific size. Plenty of other brands do so, and it's helpful for people to find clothing that fit them. So I think instead, they just need to be clear rather than adapting to vague advertising. There is a way of going about it without setting a blatant atmosphere in which certain people are meant to be shut out of the brand. If people are aware that it's geared towards a specific style or group in general, then you wouldn't have other people constantly questioning and criticizing who the brand is geared towards. Unfortunately, lots of large businesses have unhealthy business practice and morals, and I think it's a good idea to have more transparency into the places we purchase from, as it helps people get to make a fully informed decision into what companies they would prefer to engage with. Overall, I think the documentary was okay. I like that it did well with establishing a bit of background into how the brand was created. I just wish it touched on other aspects of the brand. If you've seen the film, what are your thoughts? I'm also interested in the thoughts of those who have purchased from the brand. If you have a TV show or movie you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye!